the most feared fighter jet on Earth, has just become even more terrifying. The F-22 Raptor, America's crown jewel of air dominance, is being transformed in ways that were once unthinkable. A jet already designed to be untouchable is now evolving into something practically invisible. These aren't routine upgrades. They're a game-changing innovations meant to keep America ahead of every potential adversary through the next generation of warfare. And it's happening quietly. On January 22nd, 2025, Lockheed Martin secured a $250 million contract that kicks off the most significant upgrade the F-22 has seen in over two decades. But this isn't about hardware alone. It s about preparing for a fight that military analysts believe is no longer hypothetical. It s coming. Before we go any further, if you're fascinated by the evolution of air power and the future of military technology, hit the like button and subscribe. It helps us bring you more high-impact content like this. Let's begin with the biggest disruptor in this transformation. Infrared dominance. In traditional radar systems are powerful, but vulnerable. They can be jammed, tricked, or intercepted. That day why the F-22S new infrared detection and tracking system, known as IRDS, is changing the rules of aerial combat. This isn't just a sensor. It has an invisible web of tactical thermal detectors that allow the Raptor to spot enemies without ever turning on its radar. Think about that. Instead of broadcasting a signal and revealing its presence, the F-22 now passively scans the skies using heat signatures alone. It can identify and track even stealth aircraft, like China's J-20, at ranges of over 90 kilometers. Jet engines, no matter how efficient, produce heat. And heat is something this system hunts relentlessly. But detection is just one layer. The real revolution lies in how the IRDS fuses with the Raptor's other systems. Multiple sensors feed into a live 3D map of the battlefield, giving the pilot a superhuman level of situational awareness. Data from radar, infrared, and even other aircraft all converge into one unified combat picture, updated in real time. And when the pilot decides to strike, they can do so under complete electronic silence. No radar emissions, no warning. Just an AIM-120 missile igniting in the final seconds before impact. By the time the enemy realizes what's happening, it's already too late. Stealth is no longer just about being invisible. It's about staying ahead of evolving detection technologies. And the F-22 is rising to that challenge. The US Air Force isn't simply preserving the Raptor's stealth. It's enhancing it. As part of the 2026 defense budget, over $90 million have been allocated to what's called viability enhancements. That means pushing low observability into the next era. Why? Because adversaries like China and Russia aren't standing still. They're fielding quantum radar systems and advanced VHF arrays designed specifically to expose stealth aircraft built in the 1990s. But American engineers are adapting. They've begun testing mirror-like coatings that scatter radar waves in carefully chosen directions, making the F-22 appear as nothing more than atmospheric clutter on enemy screens. The Raptor is being reshaped, literally and digitally, to deceive even the most advanced detection systems. And the upgrades don't stop at the skin. One of the biggest challenges in stealth warfare is external payload. When stealth fighters carry drop tanks or extra weapons, they often lose their low radar profile. The solution? A masterpiece of engineering known as the low drag tank and pylon system. These aren't just fuel tanks. Each unit is designed using computational fluid dynamics and radar modeling to blend into the Raptor S sleek profile. They preserve stealth characteristics while extending the jet's range dramatically. And here's the brilliant part. When the mission demands maximum stealth, these tanks can be jettisoned mid-flight, leaving the aircraft clean and optimized for evasive maneuvers. Flight tests completed in 2024 proved it. With these tanks, the F-22 can now perform long-range, high-speed missions across the vast Pacific without relying on aerial refueling. That changes everything. It redefines how the Air Force can deploy force across oceans and through contested zones. And it gives US pilots the reach to strike targets thousands of kilometers away without ever being seen. But reach is only one part of the equation. What truly sets the upgraded F-22 apart is how it sees the battlefield. Enter the next phase, 
sensor fusion at a level never before achieved in air combat. The Raptor's new sensor suite, funded through a $10.4 million contract awarded to RTX's Ryan division, isn't just an upgrade, it's a reinvention. We're talking about a complete overhaul of how the aircraft perceives and interprets the combat environment. The skies of the future will be crowded, chaotic, and saturated with signals. That SY the F-22's new sensor system isn't T just about detecting more, it S about understanding more. This sensory overhaul isn't a patchwork fix. It's a deep, structural change to the way the Raptor thinks. The new infrared search and track system, an evolution beyond the IRDs, now detects aircraft at ranges exceeding 130 kilometers, even in environments thick with electronic interference. And once it locks on, it holds that lock, relentlessly. But range means nothing without response. That S, why this system pairs with an upgraded fire control processor capable of analyzing targeting data in real time. When a pilot sees a threat, the time between detection and missile launch isn't minutes, it's seconds. In modern dogfights, the first to fire usually wins, and the new F-22 almost guarantees that first shot. These upgrades are laser-focused on countering advanced enemy fighters like China, SJ-20 and Russia, SSU-57, jets that boast stealth designs and next-gen radar. But they still emit electromagnetic fingerprints. And the Raptor now has the tools to find and follow those traces, no matter how faint. This isn't just about seeing the enemy first. It's about never being seen at all. Which brings us to a critical battleground, the electromagnetic spectrum. In today's warfare, speed and firepower aren't enough. The victor is often the one who dominates the invisible battlefield of signals and sensors. That's why the F-22's electronic warfare suite is getting a dramatic boost. The new system gives pilots the ability to jam enemy radars, disrupt communications, and even feed false data into hostile sensors. Imagine an enemy radar locking onto what it thinks is a fighter jet, only to discover it was tracking a digital illusion. This is the power of electronic deception. And the Raptor isn't just defending, it's attacking. With electronic strike capabilities, the F-22 can actively blind enemy networks, clear paths for allied forces, and execute missions in areas once considered no-fly zones. It doesn't just avoid danger, it reshapes the battlefield so danger doesn't exist. This isn't speculation, this is happening now. Let's talk firepower, because all the stealth and sensors in the world mean nothing if your weapons can't reach the enemy first. The upgraded F-22 is about to carry one of the most advanced air-to-air -air missiles ever developed, the AM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile, also known as the JATM. This is not just an incremental improvement, it's a strategic leap. Why? Because the JATM was designed with a specific goal, neutralize China's PL-15 missile, a long-range threat that, until now, could strike US jets before they had a chance to retaliate. The AIM-260 closes that gap and flips the script. With extended range, high speed, and a stealthy profile, the AIM-260 allows F-22 pilots to strike targets well beyond visual range, before the enemy even knows they're being targeted. And thanks to the Raptor's upgraded sensor suite, multiple targets can be tracked, locked, and engaged simultaneously. This is air dominance at a new level, but deploying this missile required re-engineering the F-22's internal weapons bays and fire control systems. These aren't just plug-and-play add-ons. They're deeply integrated into the aircraft's upgraded combat brain. The result? A next-generation kill chain that operates without broadcasting radar signals. In contested environments, that's everything. The Raptor can now engage threats with infrared guidance alone, staying completely silent while hunting at full power. And that brings us to the most transformative upgrade of all, the pilot interface. The F-22's new helmet, developed by L3 Harris Technologies, reshapes the way pilots engage in combat. More than just a headpiece, this system is an immersive battle platform. It projects real-time data, threat alerts, and targeting information directly into the pilot's visor. But it doesn't stop there. Using eye tracking and head movement, pilots can now lock onto targets, command systems, and manage weapons with nothing more than a glance. In the chaos of battle, this split-second advantage could mean the difference between victory 
and defeat. Those who've tested the helmet call it transformational. It's not just about seeing, it's about knowing, reacting faster than humanly possible and executing decisions before the enemy can blink. This is how the F-22 stays lethal, not just in today's world, but in the wars of the next 20 years. Now let ES zoom out and look at the bigger picture, because these upgrades aren't a just technical milestones, they're strategic signals. The F-22 Raptor, once hailed as the pinnacle of fifth generation air power, is no longer just holding the line. It's evolving into the bridge between today's dominance and tomorrow's supremacy. And the battlefield of the future is already taking shape. The Indo-Pacific theater, with its massive distances and growing missile threats, demands reach, endurance, and survivability. That's why these upgrades matter. With new fuel systems and extended range, the F-22 can now launch from safer, more distant bases, without relying on vulnerable forward installations. Recently, Raptors were redeployed to Japan, replacing the aging F-15C fleet. With their boosted endurance, these modernized jets can patrol, strike, and return, all without aerial refueling. That kind of autonomy changes how the US projects power across oceans. But upgrading a fleet of 185 Raptors is no small task. Only 143 are currently operational, and each one needs a deep retrofit. Lockheed Martin in Georgia and Raytheon in Texas are leading a complex, multi-year modernization effort designed to keep aircraft in rotation while scaling improvements across the force. The total investment? Nearly $8,000 million through 2030. But here S the key. It is still cheaper and faster than building an entirely new fighter from scratch. And every upgrade feeds directly into the next leap in air combat, the Next Generation Air Dominance Platform, or NGAD. In fact, many of the systems being tested on the F-22, sensor fusion, electronic warfare, manned-unmanned teaming, will be foundational to the fighters of tomorrow. The Raptor isn't just being upgraded. It's becoming a testbed for what's next. And the world is watching. As China accelerates its sixth-generation programs and Russia scrambles to keep pace, America's allies see these upgrades as more than just defense. They're a promise, a signal that the United States remains committed to security, innovation, and dominance in the skies. Joint operations are already benefiting. These capabilities are enhancing interoperability, ensuring that allied pilots can share data, coordinate strikes, and dominate contested airspace together. In the end, this isn't just about keeping the F-22 relevant. It's about keeping freedom protected. With a revolutionary helmet, cutting-edge sensors, unmatched range and a powerful new arsenal, the Raptor remains the apex predator of the skies and a guardian of tomorrow's peace. If this opened your eyes to the scale and ambition of modern air power, hit like and subscribe. Because this is just the beginning of the next era in military aviation.